Hey guys, this is your boy Chris and welcome back to my Barcelona career mode. Where last time I left off, the transfer window closed. Closed emphatically. Uh, yeah. Now, speaking of the transfer window, the window actually closed last night in real life. Uh, because yesterday was downline day. Hey, that's the reason why there was no uh, Kurumo video yesterday. Uh, to make up for no video yesterday, this video is a special hour long one. So, there you go. And the first match of this video is another El Clasico. The fourth of five El Clasicos. I've already put three so far. Or this is number four. And the uh, Copa del Rey final up and coming towards the end of the season will be against Real Madrid as well. So that'll be another El Clasico. And it'll be the fifth. And unless I meet him in the Champions League, it will be the last El Clasico. Unless I meet him in the Champions League. So, uh... Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. But, uh, no, my luck, I seem to always get Real Madrid, so it probably will. So, enjoy the match, and I'll talk to you after it. And today it's Real Madrid against Barcelona. We've had a huge amount of build up for this game. Alan, is it going to carry on on the pitch? Are we going to be richly entertained? Well, I do hope so, Martin. And we've got a full house, we've got a wonderful atmosphere, and we've got two high quality teams. And Salmo Suengas Bello takes charge of this game. Barcelona on the attack. Neymar. Good ball. The defenders managed to clear it despite that moment of panic. Modric. Here comes the support. But well, they could have done it. It hasn't worked out that way. That's keeping the defenders on their toes here. They've got to try and stop this attack. The service was superb. The shot wasn't. Yeah, there you go. On a plate, but just couldn't take advantage. Coming to see this team in its famous all white kit. The real deal or the Real Deal, I guess probably we're saying this part of the world, but it's uh, it's a fabulous experience and you're usually well entertained. Well, yeah, too wide. I mean, the full house at the Bernabeu and what could be better with the Real Madrid player in that famous white. And any team that comes to play here, any player puts it on his CV, yeah, and again in this great ground. Now Rooney. He read that passage of play, he's able to make the interception. 
and leaves with a shot. What a chance here. Still falling, and he leaves with a shot. And it's in the back for the goals. It's a great goal from the Paragon team. Yeah, and I think they've been feeling this, Martin. They are a class of lovely opponents today. Oh, well, you have to feel sorry for the goalkeeper there because I think that was a decent save when he needed help from his defenders. He didn't get it. 20 minutes goal, and it's the first goal of this match. Modric. Tadira. Scored again so quickly after the earlier goal. Well, it's one back, isn't it? What a double, and uh, it's going to go some distance to winning this match, maybe. Well, that has made it 2 0. Kadira. That's a good pass. But room to go to go. Casillas keeps it out. Messi intercepts him. That's when he needed a defender to show his class, and he's done just that. Here's the chance. Well, we get the decision as a goal kick. Well, that Leo Messi, Casillas, not shot. Alan, I have to say, Real Madrid had a huge uh, impact on my early years following football because when the Europe being cut, as it was called, then the Champions League now started, they won it the first five times. Impossible to stop. Yeah, before my time, obviously, <laughs> Martin, but. Uh, there's nothing more famous, is there, than the all-white kick when you see it with any you know, football and send a shiver down the spine and I think most people would want to wear that at some stage in their careers if you're a footballer. Wonderful, magical football club. Javi. Good ball. Oh, Barcelona for the chance here. Here's Rooney. Trying to be a little too clever there, I think. Possession lost. Cesc Fabregas. Well executed. That's super football from this team. Keeps it going well. Oh, what a vital stop. Marcelo. Anticipation leading to the interception there. This is the chance. Barcelona really on top four in the first half. Modric. Well, there is the referee blowing from half time. It's 3 0 here. After all the talk, the players are trying to walk the walk, and it's been difficult, as you would expect in a derby. At the moment, one team a little happier than the other. Yeah, you can feel the tension within this stadium. I think the crowd understand that there's still plenty to happen in this match. Now settling back down here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Good pass. That's good. And he goes to goal. That one, I can't believe that. The Jessica goalkeeper defeat is never as easy as it looks, but really that was a great chance so far. Why? Wasn't it just? I don't know what happened there, whether he took his eye off the ball, took it easy. What a clanger. Quick ball. I thought that attack was actually going to lead to a chance, but maybe it's easier to see from up here than it was down on the pitch. Modric. And it's Barcelona back on the ball now. It's a good interception by Raul Albiol. Good ball. 
Great chance. An exit. Such quality in the goal. A brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Very, very thorough performance here. Totally professional. And the results should be in the bag. Excellent displays out there from those lads. They all played well. How many goals has he got from these kind of positions, Martin? It's certainly not low. Really? That was an interception. It really worked for his team. Eric Lamella. They're passing it well here. Now they're widening the scope of their attack here. The defenders just nipped in there. Good idea. Didn't quite come off to go wide. Real Madrid given the throw here. They've got the ball back, Barcelona. Challenge by Kadir. Now Rooney, sharp eyed forward, certainly. for the first time shot but he's missed it well it was begging to be hit wasn't it the quality of the pass the weight of it perfect now Fabregas that's a good pass here's Rooney Ball from Kaka. It's cut out there. Great opportunity. Oh, what a cheeky attempt. It's not the best game that he's ever played, but that might be just one of his best ever saves. Well, he'll be hoping that he's turned the corner in this match because uh, he's been woeful today so far. They're taking Rooney on. Good play by Pepe to intercept. It's a decent challenge by the opponent. Right, I see him. Here's the cross. Good ball. Good ball. Into the corner of the net. There's nothing like one goal to give you the confidence for another, and that's just what's happened here. Oh, well, the way they move the ball about there, but I opposition couldn't get there when it comes to picking out the final pass. It was clinical. It's very one sided today. 5 0 has gone. Jordi Alba, well executed. Jordi Alba. Well, this is lovely football. They're passing it around the clock. Keeps it going well. Good defending. There's no doubt the defender should have done better than the attackers are running. Shot and he's found the net. That was audacious, wasn't it? In the extreme to try the shot from that kind of tight angle. Absolutely clear. There is a danger here that this match is becoming uh, rather one sided. 84 minutes gone, six minutes to go. Javi. Good pass. Oh, what's the defender done here? Here's the shot. Oh, these players aren't resting on their laurels. Says Fabregas. Quick ball. Corner. Is that a goal? 
um, ambitious but the goalkeeper quite happy to deal with that it's another corner for them he needed to be quick there urgent work from him and he's there we are final whistle these clubs are very close in terms of their placing in the town but they weren't very close on the scoreline today it's a huge victory just wonder what damage it will do to the losers because it's been humiliating the fans will not be happy at all A comfortable 6 0 win over Real Madrid. Pretty impressive. Um. So yeah, um, I was talking a bit about how yesterday was that uh, deadline day, and um, the fact that it was deadline day made it did very exciting. You know, there was a lot of string, there was a lot of deals going through, uh, seemingly out of nowhere. Uh, Ozil from went from Real Madrid to um to Arsenal. Um, at Manchester United, you guys, you signed uh, Marion Fellaini, you from Everton. No deals done by Chelsea he, he, or Tottenham. Uh, Liverpool got, Liverpool, we got our deals done very early in the day. We signed Moses on loan. We also signed Sacco and, um, and Ilori. So uh, a lot of defensive options, and Moses is obviously a winger, so that's an extra attacking option as well to the team um, right there. So, um, yeah. Next game is a home game against Rayo Vallecano. I'm simming it. Why am I simming it? It's because I've, from now on, when I do an hour-long episode, you know, how I do them on the weekends, I don't think this career mode will last the whole week. Because I just can't see it lasting the whole week. So, yeah. You might be... And just a word of warning, you'll probably be uh, without videos for a few days once this Karuma video is over because, you know, I'll have nothing to upload. Unless I, uh, I guess I could, uh, do some more Ultimate Tenkaichi battles, random battles, and see how we get on, what we, what we get out with. Um... But uh, other than that, I don't think I'll be able to upload any gameplay videos because, you know, once this career mode is done, I, I will be done with FIFA 14, FIFA 13, and uh, I won't be going back to it at all. I'll be completely done. It will be GG for FIFA 13. I'd be Valcano. 4-0, two goals from Messi and two from Neymar in case you did not see. I know it's very hard to see, but I'm working on that, trust me. But when FIFA 14 comes out, when I start up the, both the Liverpool career mode and the secondary career mode, which will start with Barcelona, ironically. Um, on the weekends, when I do an hour-long video, um, obviously, from now on, I'll do one 
I'll play one match and I'll sim the rest. Just because of the fact that, you know, I get through the career mode a lot faster, you know. It will be especially helpful for the secondary career mode when I have a lot of, I have a lot of different leagues to go through. Uh, I might not do that for the Liverpool career mode, but I'll definitely do it for the secondary career mode. We'll have to wait and see what I will be doing in the Liverpool career mode. I'll probably just stick to the normal well, two video, two games during the week per video, and then you know the hour-long episodes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I that was that'll be with what we're doing there, and obviously, uh, in in about two or. Two weeks, maybe not even that, uh, is the release of Grand Theft Auto Five. So you know you won't be. It's not like you're not gonna see any videos until FIFA 14. I mean, there's obviously Grand Theft Auto Five, which you're gonna see a lot of until I can play it, obviously. Uh, and Grand Theft Auto. All games tend to run very long, so no, don't jump to any conclusions that that will be over in a GIF. I mean, you know, it took me just over a week to finish Saints Row 4, but Grand Theft Auto, they, they tend to be very long. Because, you know, you get... Just when you think you're getting close to the end, then they pull out a few more missions just for you. Uh, next game was a home game against Deportivo La Coruña. Being 3 0 go from Iniesta and another 2 for Lionel Messi. So Messi firing in those goals. I'll see. Making it clear who the man of this team is. Who the king of Barcelona is. And I know what was weird. It actually looked for moments that. He might end up being caught by. He, Neymar. Because Neymar was racking up the goals while Messi was. Out with that uh, injury for a while, but you know, meh, all of a sudden, Neymar's his goals. All of a sudden, Messi has made him look like nothing. He's got four goals. He's got five goals in three games as Lionel Messi, and he's only back. That's um that's five goals in three sim games. I'm not counting the ones um I didn't count Real Madrid because I don't remember if he scored a hat trick in that game or not. I think he only scored one goal. I think he might have only scored once when we beat him just a few moments ago. I think I'd remember that. <laughs> I'll take four goals from Messi's total, and uh, if it's 35, then I'll know, then yeah, he did only score one. But. That doesn't really matter, does it? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But, um. Jared PK is back from his injury. Uh, in time for the game against Leo. Is this the second one? I can't all think this is the second leg. See, this is the problem with taking a break for one day because of a tra because of the transfer window. I don't remember what I did. I don't remember if I played 
Oh, wait. Yeah, I have. I have. It just came to me. Yeah. I drew two all with them at their stadium. So, I'm in, you know, pretty good position to just sort through. Boom! 4 nil. PK got injured again. Ain't nobody got time for that. But, a 4 nil win over Leo comfortably through to the next round of the Champions League for Barcelona. Go for Varane, a goal for Iniesta, a goal for Lamella, and a goal for Neymar. Four different scores, and PK picked up another injury. I'm going to have to consider or not putting him back in. Oh, or he might be out for the rest of the season because he's out for four months with a broken tailbone, which basically means he broke his ass. No comment. And about that. Next game is another Champions League game. And, whoa, it's Zenit. The team that came second in the group I... He came through in Group B. Zenit were in that group as well. And they came second. So it's the battle of the two Bs. The two Group B teams. Barcelona and Zenit. Begging be the way team first. Please be the way team first. Please let me be the way team first. Come on. Say I'm the way team first. Come on. It'll be a real big help. Are you gonna tell me? And then we get time for that. I'm the home team first. The last time I played Zenit, you can see it there, was the last group game I played Zenit in. The, the match ended one all. Can't have it ending at one all tonight. Today, uh, even. Ah, oh, I did! Oh, that puts me under a bit of pressure. Under mm -mm. Zenit, yes, to score my goal, but that is bad news because. I did not need that. That's an away goal for Zenit. That makes things a lot tougher.
Next game is a uh, league game against Celta Vigo. It's an away game. 2 0 win. Go for Messi and for Neymar. Next is the second leg again, Zenit. Come on. Come on. Have to win this. Have to win this. Oh, another one all draw. Lamella got my goal. But it ended 5-4 on penalties to me. Wow. That is incredible. Next game is against Mal Malorca. Malorca. It's a home game. Uh, boom! 3 0 win. Goal from Lamella, a goal for Neymar, and of course, a goal for Lionel Messi. The buck, the buck, the bunk, the buck is back from his loan. India want me as their manager? Nope. Scotland too. Oh, well, apparently. Uh, oh my God! Really? Man, Man City. Wait a minute. They're not supposed to get past the group stage. How did they make it to the semis? Uh, next game is against Zaragoza in the league. It's an away game. Before I play Man C in the semi final of the Champions League. 3 0 win, a goal for Adriano. Can I walk it down for that? What the hell is he doing on the pitch? Bro, my is a sub shoe. Your two goals came from, you guessed it, Lionel Messi. Now the first leg of my semi final Champions League game against Man City. It's a home game, damn it. Other than Hummels, there's nothing different about the Man City team. 
How the hell did they make it? Oh, Benze. Oh, they have Benzema. I almost forgot about that. Whoa! This was a very event eventful game. 3 2 to Barcelona finished. To me, Iniesta got a goal and two for Neymar, who was linked with Man City before he moved to Barcelona. So that makes the second leg very, very interesting. Next game is against uh, Vante in the league. It's a home game. Boom! A nice 4 0 win. Eric Lamella got a goal for himself and a hat trick for Lionel Messi. I just pushed him past 40 goals, I'm pretty sure. Jory Alba is suspended for the next league game. The uh, next game is not a league game, it's a Champions League game, so. That suspension is not to my concern yet. Uruguay want me as their manager. Nope. Very tempting offer, though. Very tempting. Second leg against Man City at the Eddie Had Stadium. Three two to me. From the first leg. Fuck! Oh, I lost one nil. And City had two late goals. Oh no. No. How is it I beat Man City as Brighton and I and they knocked me out as the Champions League as Barcelona? How does that make any sense whatsoever? Damn it. And because of a broken elbow, Rafa Varane is out of the next, is out for a few weeks. Oh my god, I am, I'm so low on defenders, it's not even funny. It's not even funny how low on defenders I am. Oh my god, I have no, I've won, I've one substitute defender remaining. So in total, I only have five fits defenders. Five. That won't get me through the full remainder of the season. Luckily, Jury Alba is only suspended. How, how come he, how he's. That was right, Messi's 
goal tally is past 40 goals. He's on 42. I still can't believe I got knocked out of this Champions League. Damn it. That pissed me off. It really did. Fuck. Damn it anyway. Next game is against that leg, Bill Bow. It's an away game. I win 2 0. Go from Lamella and Neymar. Xavi picks up an injury. How bad is it? Only seven days? It's nothing. Next game is against Real Batiste. He's in the league. A win here could be big. Because if I win and Real Madrid don't, then I will win the league right here against Real Batiste. Real did win their match. The game is a home game against Batiste. My lack of center backs is really, really worrying me now. 3-1 win over Batiste, a goal for Eric Lamella, and two for Lionel Messi. A job offer from Ireland to manage them. No. Hey! But FC Barcelona win Liga BBVA title. Oh. I say that's on goal difference because my goal difference is so high because it's n
I I personally don't confirm that until I'm out of reach on points. So I just have to avoid defeat against that like on Madrid and it should be good. Two one win over for Atletico Madrid. Goals from Eric Lamella and Lionel Messi wrap up the title fully for for Barcelona. Oh no! Uh oh! Oh, that's not good. Next game is against Real Madrid. In the final of the Copa del Rey. I can't play this match. So I wouldn't. And I won't. It's a big game. Come on. Come on, Messi. Uh, putting my fate in you and my other <laughs> players. <laughs> but especially you. 2 0 win. Messi didn't even score. Yes! Oh, well. Eric Lamella with one goal and Neymar with the other. And the Copa del Rey. Joins the La Liga title and the Super Cup amongst the trophies I have won in Spain. I just wish I had won the Champions League. No! I hate you, Man City. I hate you. Korea Republic want me to be their manager. No thank you. I have three league games left. First against Valadoyad. Need a home game. A 2 0 win. Both goals coming from Lionel Messi. Leaves me with two games remaining. Mallorca are gone, they are officially relegated from La Liga in the game.
Next game is my last away game. Hmm. In FIFA 13 manager mode, my last away game against Espanol. And two all. Neymar got both my goals. And finally, my last home game. My last game of FIFA 13. Last time I will play. I will have played FIFA 13. I can tell you that all whole well, three relegation slots have been filled. My last home game is against Malaga, uh, who are currently seventh in the table. But as for the relegation spots, I already told you about Mallorca. The other teams who are gone are, are as followed as soon as it comes up again, I can tell you. Granada and Celta Vigo are also gone. So Granada and Celta Vigo are also gone from the from La Liga. Going into the last game. Um, apparently, um, I'm signing Kovic, because it asked me to, why not, may as well, confirm that. Thomas Sorensen's contract is expiring, I know, I only signed him on a one year deal, <laughs> that year is almost up. My last signing of FIFA 13, Matteo Kovacic from Inter Milan to Barcelona for 12 million euro. I still can't believe that my last ever signing. Here we go, last home game, last game, period, last everything, ladies and gentlemen. And the final game ends with a 3-0 win. Go from Iniesta and 
for Lionel Messi. So Lionel Messi got the last goal of FIFA 13 for me. Wow. It would be him, wouldn't it? It would be. It would be Lionel Messi. I'm gonna um, Oh, that's it. That's it for FIFA thirteen. It's done. No more games. Messi ends with 49 goals. If only he had scored a hat trick in that last game. He could have had 50. But I guess 49 will do. Oh, it was almost an hour. Well, I did say this one, this Karuma wouldn't make it. To Lee. To the weekend. I had no idea it would be over today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my FIFA 13 career modes. It's Join me again in FIFA 14. From FIFA 13, this is his goodbye to it for the last time. But it's not goodbye to you for the last time because I'll see you when I next post a video. So, until next time, like, comment, and subscribe.